If you're like me and you like drawing aliens, then I've got another art challenge for you. And today, we're going to be drawing this guy. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with Surfworks Art Labs. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And we're going to work on some aliens today as part of a brand new challenge. Uh, actually, there's a lot of history to this challenge, at least uh, between me and my friend Marshall Lee. And uh, yeah, we've been talking about doing this for a while, way back, I, I can't remember how long ago it goes. Maybe a year, maybe a year or two. Um, I don't know. But uh, we, I was talking about how I wanted to put together this art book, and because, as you know, I always say I do robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. I wanted to break it, break this art book, and this is still something I'm planning on, but it's it's a ways in the future. I've got I've got a ways to go, but. Anyway, so I had a lot of zombie sketches, and I had, uh, you know, I have uh, quite a few um, robot sketches, a lot of robot sketches. Um, so I needed to, I needed to produce, I guess, some more alien uh, sketches and drawings and things like that. So I was talking to Marshall about that, and uh, he came up with the idea of this uh, challenge: "Take me to your leader Tuesday," which kind of has a fun ring to it and everything. The hashtag is a bit long, I think. Um, so uh, yeah, take me to your leader Tuesday, or I mean, I guess you could do the initials too, um, if, it, if you don't want to type all that out. Um, but anyway, so, so that he, he thought, oh, it'd be cool every Tuesday just to draw an alien, and in doing so, you would build up uh, a lot of alien sketches for your book. And uh, I agreed with him, but, but you know, it's been a little while, we've been uh, doing other things, we've both been busy and everything, so it's taken this long for us to actually implement this, but um, I thought it would be cool, at least starting off for the month of March, and this could be a continue. obviously, you know, it's a once a week type thing, or you could do it, you can do it more or whatever. Um, I think I will probably throw up a page that I will put a link into in the description where you can kind of check out the, the quote rules. Um, but you know, with this art challenge, there's really no hard and fast uh, rules. Uh, as long as my, my thing with art challenges, um, yeah, in order to say you're successful completing an art challenge, you really should follow the rules. But if you just want to want to do it just to produce artwork. Anytime you're creating artwork, in my opinion, is great. So there's a sense of accomplishment there. So, but anyway, so uh, whatever rules there are, you can find, I'll leave a link in the in the page, but it's basically just draw an alien, not even draw an alien. I mean, you could, if you want to use a collage, or if you want to sculpt or do whatever your, your uh, medium of choice is, you can do that. Um, I tend to like to do sketches and to color those sketches in markers. So that's how I'm going to do mine. I'm not sure how Marshall's going to do his. Um, uh, I know he's drawing them, I think, traditionally, but I think he may be uh, coloring them in, in the computer, I'm not sure, digitally. Um, but anyway, we I will leave a link uh, at the end of this video, you know, in the uh, little annotations or whatever you call them there, uh, to what Marshall's doing. So for the, for the month of March, um, we're going to do this every Tuesday, and I'd like to keep continuing that, that uh, you know, tradition of drawing an alien every Tuesday. Um, but you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to film every one. So just for this month, uh, I thought each of us would do a little uh, collaboration and uh, and hopefully get some of you guys involved. So if you are drawing uh, an alien every Tuesday, let us know you know where we can find it and everything, and uh, maybe you know maybe we can start to share some of that stuff or whatever. That would be super awesome. But uh, for now, I'm going to get to work on my and uh, today I'm going to draw sort of a uh, like a rodent or like a mouse kind of inspired alien but we'll you know we'll do it we'll give them a little some alien features too um, so I'm gonna get to that right now all right so for my first uh, take me to your later Tuesday uh, character I am going to draw an alien uh, I was thinking like an like a, um, a rat or something because uh, like an anthropomorphic rat but with alien features uh, maybe we'll do something a little different we'll give him some maybe blue skin or something or fur uh, but you know I, I like the idea of kind of a space smuggler and you know the, just the way rats are how they can sneak in through things and everything I thought it would be kind of cool to do that so right now I'm just doing my gestures and I'll kind of I'll pop in here and there and I'll talk a little bit about some of the tools I'm using like right now to sketch I'm just using a Prismacolor Cola Color Race pencil uh, I don't know if this is a red or orange uh, I, I like I like to use these they don't really smudge that much and I just like the effect they have so um, so that's what I'm using for sketching everything out just drawing the gesture right now and filling in some features but I'll 
also wanted to talk a little bit about, since we're doing this new art challenge, I want to talk a little bit about art challenges and some of my experience with art challenges and everything. And of course, you know, probably the big one, the one that a lot of you people probably found me through, and Marshall as well, is the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. Um, it's one that I've, I've completed successfully twice. And I try to continue to do the same in the spirit of that, get the 30 minutes a day. I'm not always successful, but during the challenge, I was definitely successful. Um, it, it's just for me, if I, if I start a challenge, I definitely want to stick to it. So, but that was, that was a big one. That was kind of life changing for me. And that's kind of how this whole, more or less this YouTube st channel started. I mean, I was doing videos before that, but not really anything with any kind of a structure to it or whatever. And I think that's kind of where I kind of found my groove and after you do a hundred videos you get a little more comfortable and after you do that twice you become even more comfortable and that's kind of the key to YouTube if you're just starting out is just you just got to start and you get better and better and better and, and hopefully in the beginning since you don't have a lot of people watching you you have kind of that opportunity to fail and stumble a little bit along the way and then by the time you get better then more people are watching and then you're a little more comfortable with it um, so anyway, so so that that's the big challenge for me. That's the one that I've I I, I really done. And that was I, I love doing. And that was started, of course, by Kevin Cross uh, of MonkeyMod.com. Um, I think it's .com. I don't know. Monkey Mod and Friends Show is the comic and everything. I'm sure you guys know. But just search Kevin Cross, Cross with the C, um, and you will find him on YouTube and a bunch of other places on the internet. Uh, another one that I've done uh, successfully twice is Inktober. A lot of people know Inktober. That's the one that was started by Jake Parker. And that one is probably the biggest one that I know of. That one just kind of is huge, blew up big time. Um, and that's where you do an ink drawing every every day. And you know, I did another video where there's a little bit of a controversy because so, you know some people say, well, does it have to be actually yeah, like tangible like uh, analog ink or can you do digital um, in my opinion I, I mean I didn't start the challenge so I don't know but I, I personally think that uh, if you want to do it in the spirit of the challenge you probably should do it in real ink um, but as long as you're creating no matter what you do that's cool but but there's another there's another uh, October challenge similar to that called I think it's called I think it's called Drawtober so it's basically the same thing, but that one specifies you could do it digitally or or analog. So I would say if you if you want to do it digitally, do the do the Drawtober, and if you want to do it with actual ink, then do the Inktober. But again, I didn't create the challenge. Those are just my opinions on that and everything. But there's a lot of challenges in October actually. There's um, Drawloween, which I think they give you prompts, but I think it's more like spooky kind of Halloween stuff and everything. Um, so yeah, tons of the other one that's big in uh, in October, and October is kind of a bad month for me. So I've never done this challenge, but I, I kind of want to. I don't know if I could do it because it's pretty crazy. And that's the 24-hour comic challenge. We have to create a 24-page comic book in 24 hours. And I just watched a documentary. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime if you want to check it out. I think it's just called 24-Hour Comic Day. And it kind of chronicles uh, I, a number of artists taking that challenge. It was really interesting. I actually watched it with my girlfriend and she's not an artist. So I think just by watching it, she <laughs> she kind of got a, an insight to kind of the stuff that I deal with and that artists deal with. And so I think it gave her a greater appreciation for what I do. But um, so segue away from that for a minute. I'll just kind of go uh, right now. I'm using uh, just to ink this guy. I'm using a Kiritaki brush pen. And if I can remember, I will leave links to some of these tools in the description. And if I don't, just hit me up and say, "Hey, where are those links?" And then I will put them in after the fact. Um, but anyway, I, I like, do like this pen a lot. It's got a couple different tips on it, and it, it works well with markers. It doesn't smudge and everything because I am going to color this in with 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 markers. But um, just to kind of go back to what I'm doing with the drawing, you kind of see I'm filling in some details and uh, kind of I like to go around my illustration and and uh, or my sketch or whatever you want to call it and uh, kind of add uh, like a, a bolder outline and then some of the in, in side lines a little thinner. Uh, that's just what I like to do, but you can kind of see this guy starting to take shape. Um, but so, so yeah, there's a number of different art challenges. I really, I know a lot of people that have done the 24 hour comic book, comic day challenge and, um, yeah, that's a pretty brutal one though. So, so one of these days I, I, I'm going to do it. I just have to, I have to psych myself up and I have to, you know, 
I just don't like taking challenges that I don't know that I can do. <laughs> and one that's, that's that, you know, where you have to jump in and you do it in 24 hours. That one, I'm not positive that I could do it, you know. Um, but I think the key is to not, you know, bite off more than you can chew. Not to try to go too detailed or anything. And just have, you know, create a fun story and something that you can kind of do quickly and everything. Um, but I've got friends that do it, that have done it numerous times. And I kind of go into the comic books. Because a lot of times comic book stores will host these events. So I go in there to cheer them on and everything, and it's it's pretty cool. So, so what are some other ones? There's the 30 characters in 30 day challenge. I think that's in November, and that one I really like. That's where you just draw a different character every day for 30 days. Um, I've known some people that have participated in that one. Um, uh, what else? So there's, uh, I don't know if this is still going on. Um, I did this one year it was the March of Robots, where you draw a robot every day of March. That was super cool. Um, let's see, what else? There's, uh, of course, Fan Art Friday, which is every Friday you can draw a fan art piece. Mermaid, so in May you can draw um, a different mermaid every day. Uh, Kaijun, I haven't heard of that. I just heard about this one. This one sounds cool because I love drawing monsters. I love kaijus. So yeah, in, in June you draw a different uh, giant monster every day. So for Kaijun, that's pretty cool. Sketch Timber, uh, I guess you just do sketches every September and then uh, in December, Marshall, who I'm doing this challenge with, uh, he created another challenge, which is kind of cool, called she -Simber, where you draw uh, a female character every day of December. That's all. That's usually kind of a hard one, just because December is a hard month for a lot of people with the holidays and everything. But but that's kind of a cool challenge. If I if I don't know, just based on the time of year, if I ever do it or not. But yeah, there's a, just a lot of cool challenges, and I've done a few of them, um, and I, I'd like to do some more of them. So. So, yeah, those are some of the ones that I know about. What do you guys, you guys know different challenges that maybe I, I left out or I didn't know about? Uh, be sure to just kind of let me know in the comment section. But kind of back to the illustration. So I use a number of different markers. Right now I am using the chameleon markers, which are kind of cool because they're, they're color changing so you can get different tones and everything with just one marker. Uh, I also, I'm also using Copics um, and then uh, I'll, I'll use, sometimes I'll use the, the Prismacolor markers or the Trya, I don't know. I, I've got so many different markers. The Yahoo is a good bargain one that you can uh, get. Uh, but I, I, my favorites, I think, are the um, Copic, Copics and the uh, and the Chameleons are kind of cool, kind of a neat novelty. But I like, I, I kind of like the way they they work. So. So yeah, just finishing this guy, and like I said, I kind of gave him some blue fur and everything to make him a little more alien. Uh, I like the, you know, kind of the jumpsuit and everything, and just kind of make him like a, like if Han Solo was a rat, you know? <laughs> that could, that's kind of what I'm going for with this, so. Um, so it might be cool to do a story with him or something, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my first entry for Taking Me to Your Leader Tuesday. All right, so uh, yeah, here's my little uh, mouse smuggler type alien guy. Um, I'd like to see him in some kind of adventure. I don't know what will become of him, but it's always fun to create characters, and I'm glad you're here along with me for the ride, and uh, and uh, I'm interested to see what you guys are coming up with. So if you uh, are doing this challenge, let me know. Uh, leave a Sometimes it's hard to leave links in YouTube because sometimes YouTube thinks that they're spam, um, but maybe if it goes to spam, I will kind of look in there and see if anything is like a legitimate, uh, somebody who's actually participating in the challenge. So uh, yeah, and at, like I said, at the end, uh, there will be, uh, uh, you can just click the video to go to see what Marshall's doing for his first uh, first Tuesday of the challenge. And definitely follow Marshall on social media. He's doing, right now he's doing the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. So uh, a lot of stuff right there. He's got tons of videos. I put them out pretty much daily. So um, that's super awesome. And Marshall's a great guy and a good friend of mine. So I would ask that you check out his channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, I guess I will, I don't want to say I'll see you next Tuesday because I'll probably see you before then, whether it's another video or the art casters or whatever I have going on. But I will definitely see you next Tuesday. And if I don't see you before then, so I'll see you guys later. That is all. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit Circworks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comments section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.